What is going on, people? I am here for, if you couldn't tell by the title, a unboxing. And I'm doing this. I, I should do it more often because, you know, especially in these times, hopefully everyone's, you know, staying safe. I don't think I've said that in the past couple videos. But hopefully everyone's still staying safe. You know, who thought in February, mid-February, late February, we would still be talking about this and you know, middle of May, but hopefully everyone's staying safe, you know, um, just stay insane also. Uh, that is what I'm talking about in this because people are using, you know, different things to, you know, keep their time busy. I mean, now it's starting to open up some places so you can, uh, bars and stuff are, are not open, movie theaters and stuff, but beaches are and certain things to make life a little bit more, you know, regular I guess you want to call it but throughout these you know past couple months the only thing I've really been spending my money on is movies so usually I'll get you know a couple movies a day maybe not a day but you know I'll order stuff throughout the week and I really haven't ever shown everything off I've been waiting for you know certain movies to come in to show off I got a bunch of Screen Factory titles I'm still waiting on got some stuff from Amazon that I'm supposed to be getting today so, you know, I would have added that to this because I do have a whole bunch of packages, uh, stuff from eBay. Uh, most of the stuff is from eBay and uh, one thing from Amazon. So I'm like, why not? I haven't done anything like this in a while, like an unboxing. So why not do it today? Because like I said, got a whole bunch of sh uh, stuff to show off. Uh, one of the main things that I did get, I've been waiting for for about a month. Uh, I think mid-April I ordered this from... Uh, if you couldn't tell by the title, Wet Movie 1, uh, he has a eBay page where, you know, he's trying to, you know, sell some of his stuff off. He just moved, and, you know, he's going through a bunch of stuff that he probably doesn't need. Um, I mean, with collectors, I'm sure we don't need everything that we have, but uh, he's selling off some of the stuff. And I bought a complete series, um, piece by piece, I guess you would call it, instead of having, you know, a big box set. I bought that from him, which I will show off, but I'm sure most of you who check out my videos probably have seen him and Cool Duder, you know, those two are more uh, the most, you know, synonymous with uh, movie collecting and stuff like that. So I did buy uh, stuff from his eBay page, which I guess, like I said, I'll show off at the end of this. I'll leave the link to his eBay page so you can check it out. But this has been, like I said, a month in the making. I think I bought it mid-April and now I'm getting it mid-May, so... I was holding off on this video, but it just so happens that I got a whole bunch of stuff in the mail. So what I'll do is I'll open up these few packages. Uh, like I said, most of them are from, uh, three of them are from eBay, stuff that I did buy. And then uh, one thing is Amazon. And like I said, I am waiting for that, uh, another package, but I'm like, I don't want to make, you know, wait all day because sometimes uh, I'll get it at like seven o'clock at night. Don't feel like waiting that long. So. Uh, might as well just open up some of this and, uh, you know, uh, show you what I did get. So this one here, uh, it's nicely wrapped and stuff. This, I think, is put out by uh, Kino Lobier, uh, if I'm correct. No, it's not. It's a, uh, looks like it's, what the hell does it say? Twilight Time. So this one, I think, might be, uh, I don't want to say out of print. It might be out of print, not 100% sure. But I know a lot of the uh, Twilight Time... Uh, movies have been, you know, slowly, almost like Shout Factory, which I was talking about, or Scream Factory. Twilight Time stuff is, you know, slowly going out. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So that's pretty much what I'm getting on eBay. A lot of movies that are either, you know, out of print, or going out of print, or hard to find, or rare, or something like that. Which, you know, that changes all the time. I got uh, a comment saying in one of my videos, uh, the movie Neon Demon. It was hard for me to find now. It's pretty much everywhere for like 10 bucks, and I bought it for 40 So, um, you, know, like, you know, at that point in time, it's haha -ha and me or whatever. But this one, like I said, Twilight Time, from what I saw and what I was, you know, seeing it sold for, I'm like, ah, let me buy it now before it goes, who knows, more out of print or whatever. Don't know too, too much about this one. Uh, but it's called Abbey Rose. So, like I said, this one, <coughs> not 100% sure if it's out of print. You know, sometimes people just put, you know, statuses on the eBay item just to say, you know, just to boost the chances of selling it. But Abbey Rose, don't know too much about it. I just picked it up. Uh, this one here, 
I picked up like two or three DVDs to tell you the truth. These movies are uh, not out of print. This one might be. This one might be a little bit harder to find. Uh, but the only reason I got them is I saw trailers from these older movies. And I'm like, oh, I never own these on DVD. Um, so I got them just because, you know, at that point in time, um, I didn't own them. Like I said, most of the time I'm not, uh, not collecting DVDs. I'm collecting Blu-rays. So this kind of broke my own rule. But I'm like, I saw the trailer, and I'm like, this this movie kind of sounds familiar. Not 100% sure, but this is more of a, um, I guess you would call it rape revenge type movie kind of deal. Uh, and it's called Lipstick. Uh, DVD is a little bit messed up, like the, uh, the uh, packaging and stuff. But I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, let's see, the uh, I should check the, uh, con actually, that one's sealed. So I really can't con check the condition of it. But, you know, the DVD looks, you know, good. It looks like it should play. There's no really, you know, not too much. I like how most of the sellers that I get now put the, uh, put a little plastic wrap on the, the, you know, the holder, I guess you would want to call it, so it doesn't move out. I'm guessing that uh, kind of keeps it a little bit more safe. As you can tell, it really not moving that much. But this one, like I said, I believe, remember, it, it was kind of like a rape revenge type movie. Lipstick, don't know 100% about it. I remember, you know, somewhat seeing it. Uh, so that's that. This one I did order from Amazon. I believe this one is a, a more recent re uh, release. I think it came out from what I, every once in a while, I'll check, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, like Blu-rayreleasedates.com just to see what's coming out. Uh, back then it would be, you know, every Tuesday I'd check that to see, you know, what movie I wanted to buy for that week. Um, but now, since I haven't gone to Best Buy or anything like that, it's kind of just, I'll look and I'll uh, check on Amazon uh, to see if they do have something like that. And then that's when I'll go to eBay if I don't find it on Amazon for a decent price. But I believe this came out either like two weeks ago or something like that. I'd have to recheck it. Um... But uh, this is from Unearth Films, and it just had an interesting sound to it. I believe this is in uh, Spanish subtitles. I could be, I could be wrong, but I believe it is in uh, Spanish uh, subtitles. It's a Spanish language with English subtitles. So I don't know if it's one of those uh, where you can, you know, depending on the day, like. If I'm tired and I don't want to read subtitles, I'll see, especially on certain movies I do own, I'll see if they have just English dubbing, which sometimes it makes the, the movie that much worse. But if I'm, you know, wide awake and I don't mind reading, I'll, I'll you know, read the English subtitles. But this is called What the Waters Left Behind. And it uh, from the trailer, it looks like a bunch of, you know, uh, I don't know if they're tourists or they're just, you know, bored teens or whatever. They end up going into this abandoned town, uh, which was just hit with, I'm guessing, like a hurricane or something like that. And uh, they end up going there from, like I said, haven't seen it, haven't sat down to watch it. But uh, it looks like this, you know, thing might have, uh, let's just say, from the trailer, it reminded me of almost like a what do you want to call it, uh, Hills Have Eyes kind of deal, because if you look at the back, like the top of it, I don't know if you could tell with the glare, but it looks like it's these, like, I don't want to say, like, indigenous people, but it might be, like I said, people that, uh, dealt with whatever happened, either flooding or whatever, and they're, you know, kind of protecting their land and stuff, but this one seemed, the trailer seemed really cool, and like I said, it is, uh, in subtitles, so, um, I'll let you know if you guys want a review of that movie, uh, let me know in the comments. And the main thing that I've been waiting for, like I said, about a month, um, I bought a series. He had a um, a complete series on there. I believe there's seven seasons with this. Um, so he had all seven, and uh, pretty much he uh, was selling all seven at the same time. So let me see if I can put these in order. Um, let's see. It looks like there is seven. There is seven seasons. So I'll see if I can find them uh, and see which one's first. And, uh, and then we do that. Don't mind me. We'll do that. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. All right. So that should be the, uh, the right... Uh, if I can count right, 
Uh, but this should be the right thing. And the series I bought is uh, Nurse Jackie. I've never seen this uh, this series before. I remember, you know, some people talking about it. Uh, and then it kind of, you know, faded away in TV history and stuff like that. But I'm like, why not? He had it on sale for, I, I think, all seven. Uh, he was selling for 45 plus $5 shipping. Um, so I got a pretty much seven season for 50 bucks. So that's, you know, especially knowing me, sooner or later they'll come out with a nice box set and stuff like that. But for right now, you know, I'm like, why not? Let me, uh, you know, it's price is good enough for me. Help support, you know, Brendan and all that stuff. Like I said, he's, you know, trying to... He, Especially in these times where, you know, certain people aren't working, you know, uh, you know, he just moved. So I'm like, oh, why not? You know, a lot of the stuff that he posts on there, I already have. So this one, I know I didn't have. So I'm like, oh, why not? Let me help out. Like I said, at the end of this, check the description so you can see his uh, eBay page. If you're looking for, you know, other movies and stuff like that. Some of the movies he ha has on there are more on the, you know, rarer side or VHS or, you know, a little bit of everything for, you know, people who collect. So anyway, uh, this is season one of Nurse Jackie. I don't know, like I said, how many uh, this came out in 2009. Uh, so this was a Showtime show. So that's another reason why I never really checked out Showtime or had it. So that's Nurse Jackie season one. Uh, Nurse Jackie season two. Uh, this one... Again, Showtime, it's got, this one came out in 2011, so I don't know how long each one. This one runs for 333 minutes, this one runs for 335 minutes, uh, and none of them, actually it looks like there's a bunch of special features and stuff. Um, you know, the first one comes with cast and crew uh, commentaries, all about Eddie featurette, uh, what is this, Unsung he Heroes featurette, Preparing Nurse Jackie featurette, uh, Nurse Stories, um, and then a whole bunch of, like, schematics and stuff in there. Uh, but this one, the Season 2, comes with cast and crew commentaries, all about E featurette, uh, Perfecting, an Inappropriate Touch featurette, whatever that is, main title music montage, and a gag reel, which, if you've heard me talk, whether it be on these or the Dorkening, the main thing I always loved about physical media is the uh, special features, like the behind the scenes kind of stuff. So when I get that, it's just it's just really cool. This is Nurse Jackie season three. Uh, this one comes with cast and crew commentaries, inside uh, inside Alkalitis. I don't know what the hell that is. Never seen. Like I said, never really seen this featurette. Jackie's guys featurette and a gag reel. So that's season three. Uh, season four of Nurse Jackie, uh, right there. And then this one comes with uh, cast and crew commentaries, on the floor at All Saints featurette, cruise control featurette, and gag reel free featurette. This is 280 minutes. And what was season three? Uh, 334 minutes. So I don't know if there's a, a couple less episodes in the uh, fourth season, but that kind of went down. Um and this one looks like it too. So this is season five of Nurse Jackie. Uh, this one comes with cast and crew commentaries, a sober Jackie featurette, uh, new to the floor featurette, gag reels, and deleted scenes. This one's also 280 minutes. So it looks like from season one to season four and five, they kind of uh, went shorter in a few episodes or don't have all the ep oh, Okay, well, this one came, went back up. This is Nurse Jackie season six. And this one comes with uh, uh, Descent, Descent, Destruction, Jackie's Fall featurette, uh, Growing Up Peyton featurette, Deleted Scenes, Audio Commentary with Cast and Crew. So that's Nurse Jackie Season 6. And then the last one, of course, like I said, uh, last season, uh, Nurse Jackie Season 7. Unless I'm wrong and the show's still going on. Um, I mean, a five-year hiatus, but... 330 minutes with this one it comes with deleted scenes uh last patient at all saints featurette final shift featurette now i'm guessing that season seven was the end uh last dance flash mob with eddie falco uh featurette gag reel and audio commentary with cast and crew so that is like i said all seven seasons of nurse jackie now in my uh collection over here so um 
thank you, Wet Movie One, for you know, like I said, the price was you know, if you put everything together, it was about you know average. I would guess you know it wasn't the greatest of uh, you know um, deals, but it was one of those things where I'm like, why not? Let me let me get a new series. See, like um, I don't have much time because I'm still working six days a week, but. For the days I'm off, you know, if I'm looking for something to do, because God knows we can't do much of anything, now I can sit down and watch Nurse Jackie, or I can sit down and watch What uh, <clears throat> what the Water is Left Behind, or anything like that. So, <clears throat> if you want any of these movies reviewed a little bit more in detail, or Nurse Jackie reviewed a little bit more in detail or anything like that, or certain episode, whatever it is, I'm always looking to do new content and stuff like that as well. But if you're looking for anything, definitely go ahead and in the comments, let me know. Again, check the description for um, Brendan's eBay page. So if you're looking for uh, more movies to add to your collection that he might have, um, check out his page. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, of course. And, of course, if you want to know when I do upload more stuff, hit that little bell button so you'll be, I guess, the first notified. I don't know exactly how that works because some people say they don't know. Even if they do hit the bell, I don't know how it works. But if you hit the bell, maybe you have a better chance of knowing when I do post more stuff. Uh, when I do get a lot of my packages from, you know, Screen Factory, I'll do an updated version of my entire, again... I gotta get used to pointing because I'm not good, but my Screen Factory collection, um, once I get more packages, I bought a whole bunch from the going out of print sale, uh, so I got a few more titles coming in there, I got one coming in from Amazon that came out last week, I believe, which, um, you'll probably see on my Instagram but also in the description, check out all my other social media. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter. I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me. I'm part of the dorkening. Every Tuesday night, we'll have someone, you know, from a indie film, whether it be a uh, writer, a director, an actor, an actress. We'll have them on the show. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's really about it. So check the description. If there's anything you want reviewed a little bit more, let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah, I guess until next time, I will see you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until next time, I'll see you.